how to spot a helicopter crash site is actually you first look for a watchtower or a radio tower that is near to helicopter crash sites. You can find helicopter crash sites on the scenarios map. I have a link in the video description. And then you look for the watchtowers that are near to uh, helicopter crash sites. Once you spot those watchtowers, you go to those watchtowers and you wait until the server restarts. When the server restarts, at the helicopter crash sites will be resetted. And then you spawn when the server restarts. And then mostly after five minutes, a helicopter crash site should be spawned. If a helicopter crash site did not spawn, after five minutes of the server restart, you change your location to a new watchtower. There are about five watchtowers, uh, radio towers, that are near to helicopter crash sites. But you have a 30 minutes window, uh, because after 30 minutes the helicopter crash sites will disappear without a loot. So this means you pick uh, three radio towers that are near helicopter crash sites and then you farm all those three uh, radio towers in order to find helicopter crash sites. So you know, go on those towers, you wait until the server restarts. It's mostly common that the server you restart uh, restarts two times a day so you can farm uh, six times a radio tower, 30 minutes, three radio towers, two server restarts, six radio towers. So you got a high chance to get a helicopter crash site. Basically, you can get up to three, when you're lucky, four uh, helicopter crash sites a day. Uh, yesterday I got this uh, uh, Weiger Barrel from this site. This is basically the best site. Um, you uh, actually have to look for the crash sites on the scenarios map. I have the link in the description. And then you look for the helicopter crash sites uh, that are near to those watchtowers. And you just go to a watchtower and wait until the server restarts. Then you find your helicopter crash sites. When there is no helicopter crash site after five minutes of the server restart, you actually have to change your position to another watchtower who also is on a helicopter crash site. I have the link in the description. And that's how you find the uh, helicopter crash site. I think I found one yet, so I just reloaded the video I just made and uh, noted that there was a uh, so this is a helicopter crash site. It goes pretty fast to spot them. And I will go for this crash site now. And let's speed this a bit up. Before others do. Of course the note uh, when you are on the server and it's just a restart, you're probably safe to uh, to raid. But when you just randomly join on a server and find a crash site like me, it's pretty unsafe because you not know how long is it uh, away that the helicopter spawns. Because you got maybe a five minute factor uh, of safe loot before maybe other players can spot the helicopter. So I would recommend that you just loot helicopter crash sites. Uh, when uh, actually you know when the server restarts, just after the server restart. Um, otherwise it would be unsafe to uh, loot this, uh, but um, I will loot this anyway, just for the video. So there's the helicopter crash site. I've uh, uh, there's also another uh, thing to note when there are zombies on the crash site, uh, then you know there was nobody there. When there are no zombies on the crash site, probably 
somebody was already there. So we speed up first. And you should not spend too much time on those loot sides. Uh, so there are zombies there. So that's really cool. So you clear the side. This means nobody is there. No. Mostly there are two to three zombies. Okay. Now let's see what's there. Oh, this is not gold. A t-shirt. A tarnhauber. So let's see, we just loot the items that are here. Nozzle. Day. A sniper river. I can't believe it. Wow. I just got the sniper river. Alright. Okay. And after three rotations. And you find nothing else here after three rotations you should actually leave the place so that was it that was the loot sites now you get the fuck off this place because you actually did a shot what is the uh, uh, point to actually that the other players are left and uh, there's also other stuff so i guess i will um, my equipment is really cool. I am probably just uh, operate at night, so that's why I'm black. Uh, I just go one day to loot helicopter crash sites and I just raid at night on villages and stuff. Um, probably I spend the rest of my day in the forest or in uh, lost city sectors, and that's how I survive here. I would recommend to, of course, um, avoid every zombie or every player in the action because yeah, it probably is not a good survival tactic with, with not avoiding anything. <laughs> That's how I survive. So uh, yeah, and I just found this awesome sniper. It probably it's the best automatic sniper. It's probably not the deadliest sniper, and the Tundra sniper. Uh, shots with uh, those one shot rounds. And this is probably the best sniper as such. But I can't combine any stuff. Right? This is the first time I uh, actually. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Now I just need a magazine for this one. Um, and I also got a nozzle, but I got a nozzle in my, um, in my backup, so uh, I'll go to my backup now and upgrade this weapon. In front, so I have my magazine for it. 
So we probably start to loot. Uh, for I'm guessing other crash sites. And until I not got everything from this weapon, I basically just store it in here. And then when I'm built, I actually use it like this. But I have not the magazine yet, so <laughs> I actually uh, go this bit. Oh, I don't much breaker. I guess the so. All right. Okay. So thanks for your attention. This is actually how to uh, build helicopter grid status, and this is actually how to uh, get back up in the woods somewhere. There's a barrel here with all this stuff, and right? absolutely. So I can. Upgrade my weapons until I'm full bit. When I'm full bit, then I uh, then I'm full bit and I don't need no backup anymore, and then I can play with my full. Thanks for watching.